Mark, Mark Swoboda, the CEO of Inamanix. Uh, they've got their new product line coming out. Why don't you tell us what this is about? Okay. Well, uh, today we're introducing Chromalit, which is a new phosphor light source that when combined with blue light from any manufacturer uh, produces high quality lighting. And by high quality, I mean the right color, the right color rendering, the right color consistency, and high reliability. A bulb that you wouldn't be embarrassed having in your office or your home. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Uh, what we find is that when you look at a typical lighting system, the quality of light is all in the phosphor. Mm -hmm. With phosphor, phosphor actually emits light, or it is the light source. It is, it is not a filter. Oops, it is not the filter. It actually radiates right. the light. So again, a off-the-shelf blue light source. Okay, let's uh, do that again. So we got okay. blue light. Uh, combined with the chromolite. Look at that. So uh, it's white light right there. Light it's, source. A, it's a yellow phosphor in natural state. And when you yep. pull that off, uh, pull that and off. We're back it's blue, blue light coming in. Right. right. Okay. And with our materials, we have the ability to produce any color. Mm -hmm. So as we, as we talked, uh, not only can we produce, uh, in this case, a warm white, but we can also produce a nice amber light. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right. So we've gone from kind of a... Not a caution light, but it's definitely something you'd see in a groovy restaurant or like, you know, an oil factory or something, or an oil refinery. This, this would be the light that you would okay. see uh, in a traffic signal, on an emergency vehicle okay. light, or for uh, an automotive or truck light. Okay. Now, ordinarily, the uh, phosphor is this right here. It's basically, it's a, it's a chemical powder. You send it to the LED manufacturers, and they apply it to a, like a, 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 a film or a plastic right above their LED. So typically, a, a, an LED maker starts with a blue chip, and they buy a phosphor or a combination of phosphors. They mix these phosphors uh, into some sort of a suspension like a silicone, and they usually either print those on top of a chip or put those into a package, but usually directly attach the phosphor to the chip. Okay. Now, by uh, instead of selling the phosphor powders, by selling the discs, or you know, they could, that can be an A-shape, just selling in that solid substrate. What's that do? Is it does it increase the uh, does it reduce the cost? Does it you know, increase the amount of light that can come out? Or well, the the, the, the chromolite lighting architecture, sometimes referred to as the remote phosphor architecture, actually has the ability to increase the system efficacy up to thirty percent uh, by separating the phosphor from the blue chip. Uh, we actually have the ability to reduce the temperature of the LED chip itself. Uh, we have the ability to increase the light extraction. Uh, we also keep the temperature of the phosphor lower. And uh, most importantly, since the phosphor acts as a natural diffuser, we do not need to add a diffuser, which typically reduces the light output of a white LED-based lighting mm -hmm. system by uh, another 10%. But the key thing is almost inventory, because right now what they can do then is make blue lights. Just, you know, make a, you know, they kind of a, a base blue light bulb. Exactly. And then you can just ship as many discs as you want to or, you know, substrates as you want to, and then they can just mix and match them at the factory or at the distribution center. So the feedback from our customer base has been that it's a challenge for them to decide what color, what CRI uh, to put on the shelf in the form of a luminaire. With this approach, they can buy and build blue light modules from using LEDs from any industry-leading manufacturer you know, Pre or LumaLeds or BridgeLux or Nachia, Osram and others. Uh, they can build the standard light module that produces a fixed amount of blue lumens. And then when the order comes in for a white luminaire, they can put their disc on uh, and assemble it and get their warm white. If they happen to be getting an order for a cool white, they can drop their cool white disc on and, and uh, ship that product. If they happen to receive an order for an amber light source, they can drop their go. light source. So what we have uh, heard from our customers is that their inventory management, their, their ability to use full distribution of their blue LEDs is enhanced through this process. And even though, uh, just to kind of refresh here for a lot of our readers, a lot of people haven't heard of you, but your company's been around about, what, 11 years? Revenue's growing about 50% a year? Our company was founded in 2000 uh, as a materials discovery uh, and development company. 
uh, working on technologies from batteries to solar to phosphors. In 2005, we, we focused on uh, phosphor materials for LED applications. Uh, and since that time, we have become the, broad, uh, the, the uh, manufacturer of, uh, of a broad range of phosphors. In fact, we have the broadest range of phosphors of any manufacturer worldwide. And it's all the big names in LED and lighting area customers. Our, 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 customer, our customer base are the major LED makers, as well as TV makers throughout the U.S., Korea, Taiwan, and China, and Japan. Yeah, because this is all chemical engineering. It's not, well, there's some electrical engineering, but it's really chemical this engineering. This is all basically chemistry. Excellent. Let's, uh, let me show